This week, Miami mayor and Republican presidential hopeful that you've probably never heard of unless you live in Miami. Francis Suarez was asked about the oppression of the ethnic group, the Uyghur Muslims in China. And this is how he responded. Greetings to everyone listening. I am joined by Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, who declared his candidacy for the presidency a couple of weeks ago. But ultimate question, Mayor, will you be talking about the Uyghurs in your campaign? What, the what? The Uyghurs. What's a Uyghur? Okay, we'll come back to that. Uh, let me, You won't be, you gotta get smart on that. Oops, <laughs> uh, that's not a great look. Now, MSNBC, excuse me, broke down just why it's so concerning that a presidential hopeful would speak like that. Vaughn, what's the significance of that exchange? A presidential candidate appearing to not know this Muslim minority population being targeted by Beijing. It's, it's significant because this man is running for president of the United States, and he's the mayor of a relatively small city. And yet he has made the case over the last week that he is running for national office and would be able to be the commander in chief and serve this country. We should note the Biden administration has suggested that China has engaged in genocide. Uh, there are one to two million Uyghurs inside of detainment camps, what you could also call re-education camps, in which this ethnic minority population population uh, is forced to renounce their religion. They are forced into uh, uh, working conditions that, frankly, uh, the United States and allies have not had full access to wholly understand. Now, I said at the beginning of the story that it's reminiscent of something that happened a few years back, and that would be the blunder of Gary Johnson when he was asked, what is Aleppo in 2018? What would you do if you were elected about Aleppo? About Aleppo. And what is Aleppo? You're kidding. No. Aleppo is in Syria. It's the, uh, it's the epicenter of the refugee crisis. Okay, got it, got it. Okay. Well, with regard to Syria, um, I do think that it's a mess. Sorry, that's such a that's such an I don't know what the hell I'm talking about answer. Well, it's a mess over there, and when I'm president, we're gonna go and we're gonna clean things up. <laughs> I'll say, Ben, I really think that he thought that Uyghur was a slur or something because the way he no, starts I'm, laughing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very I'm very happy for Suarez that he didn't say, well, you know, when white people adopt hip hop culture and act as though they're black, it's just not okay to do. What? Oh, oh boy. And then I'm announcing the end of my campaign. <laughs> this was actually covering the stories how I learned he was even running for president in the first place. Dang, you that, know? that does prove the old adage, no publicity is bad publicity, but it also don't mean it's rocket launch publicity either. <laughs> and to be fair, I think a lot of people first heard of who Gary Johnson was in the uh, in that election when he didn't know what Aleppo was. So apparently being an idiot on, on air is a good way to get some, some momentum. Aleppo, <laughs> here's the thing with Aleppo. It's one of the top brands of dog food. <laughs> uh, uh, Aleppo is, they're really fast cats. Uh, it's also a biblical disease. So <laughs> not exactly the same name, but they sound similar. <sighs> We God. are doomed. We're doomed. We're right. We're right. This is depressing. It's, well, it's very funny, but the state of affairs in our country is is sad. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, how about here, here? Here's just a quick last statement on that. How about we uh, put our foot down a little more strongly and stop the genocide of the Uyghurs? How, do, how about that plan? How about stop trying to crush an ethnic minority that is just trying to practice their own religious freedom and be themselves. How about stop trying to dilute them and put them in re-education camps, AKA concentration camps. How about them apples? That should have been the answer to that question. Maybe you should run for president. I'm back in. 